Welcome to video number six, X idler index motor. This will be the first step for us putting together the X axis assembly. In this step, be very careful when you're putting the bearings into their holes. Um, it's gonna be a very tight fit, and in some cases, the hole may be too small, and you're gonna need to enlarge it with either an appropriate drill bit or by filing it with a small file. However, you do want to keep it a very snug fit and you want absolutely no sliding or movement in these bearings once they're in place. So take your time and make sure to not make the hole too big and also try not to damage the part of the bearing in the process. It's recommended to use something like a rubber mallet or something that won't dent the bearing as you're, as you're beating it into place. Also, due to the design of the mechanical end stops, I had to take some pliers and pry the end stop pins upwards at an angle so that you could get the screws in. Um, I don't know why they designed it like this because it makes it very difficult for the Prusa i3 design, uh, but it's actually been a common issue and it's, it's not a hard fix. Just be very careful when you're prying the pins up as to not damage them or pull them out of the board. So here we are going to begin by pushing two of the linear bearings into the X end idler and two more bearings into the X end motor. Um, like I was discussing before, uh, you may have to use some force to get them in there. Uh, but if you do have enough clearance, then you might be able to push them in by hand. Now in the video, you're going to see me using uh, one of my adjustable wrenches. That's not highly recommended. I would use something with a softer surface if you do have to beat it in like you see me doing in the video. Once you get your bearings into place, then take an M5 nut and insert it into its mark. And in order to do that, you may have to do a little forcing like you see me do in the video. Another technique, if you really can't get it in, is to take the M5 threaded rod and actually thread into the nut from the bottom side and pull it through that way. Either way, just go ahead and get it fixed in place and make sure it has a snug fit. Uh, next, we need to insert a 624 ball bearing, which is the smallest one, uh, between the X end idler. And we're gonna fix it with a M4 by 20 millimeter screw. Uh, just simply screw the M4 screw into both sides, uh, but do not force it too much. It should thread into the piece itself. Um, if it slides right through, that's okay because you can use the M4 nut to make sure that it has a snug fit. Now don't pull the nut too tight because you don't want it squeezing the bearing because you still want the bearing to you know, free, free roll without having any tension on it. Now with the XN motor, you are going to see me take my small round file and I am going to have to clean out the hole a little bit. I've already done a little bit of cleaning, but uh, for this piece in particular, I did have to do a little bit more cleaning. But uh, once again, you need to take two more linear bearings and fit them into place and make sure you have a snug fit in that neither side of the piece has the bearing sticking out. The bearings need to be meeting in the middle. Now take your other M5 nut and insert it into its mark. And just like with the last piece, you 
we'll probably have to apply a little force or use the technique of taking the threaded rod, putting it up through the bottom of it, and pulling it through that way. In fact, I think I ended up having to do that at one point. Uh, now once you get all your bearings in place and your M5 nuts, then go ahead and affix one of the mechanical end stops with two M3 by 14 millimeter screws and two M3 nuts to the X end idler. <laughs> 